hi everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is omar and i'm glad to have you on my channel today if this is your first time of coming across this channel hello if you've been an old subscriber i truly appreciate you thank you for your support i do not take it for granted okay guys um today i want to talk about the importance of salt water both in men and women salt water is very powerful guys what i want to teach you is a very big secret way of using salt water that will attract you endless blessings one of the things that the spirits despise so much is sex yes you will agree with me that even if you are couples there are several rituals that you can be able to, that you want to embark on and you need to actually make sure that you are clean enough to appear before the spirits are we ready to have this discussion if you are deeply rooted in spirituality you will understand that even you as a married woman or you as a married man there is this kind of rituals that you have to perform and you have to stay away from your partner for a short period of time until you are done with that ritual or now if it doesn't happen only even in your churches there are some prayers you'll be embarking on and your pastor will tell you no sex until the prayer is completed there is a reason for that the truth is that the spirits do not like anything sex when you are when you want them to be around you when you want them to bless you when you want them to do something for you you have to suffer your 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 body you have to deprive yourself of that thing that makes you very happy of that very thing that makes you to have fun you have to deny yourself of it so that the web they will be able to grant you what you want one of the reasons that people do their spiritual work and say oh it doesn't work for me is that they, they start spiritual work immediately after having sex you haven't cleansed yourself from the sex you had you will go and do spiritual work that sex will destroy the sex you had will destroy the spiritual work that you had you have done it's an automatic destroyer there are no two ways about it whenever you want to start up your spiritual work please stay away from sex if you are a woman on your period please stay away from any kind of spiritual work any kind of spiritual work stay away from it because when you are on your period you are no longer you are half man half spirit you are half man half spirit there is something very special about women's menstrual cycle it destroys anything spiritual work it destroys charms although that spiritual work is not charm but it also destroys the, the, the ingredients, the recipe, the things that you are using, the items that you are using to make it. Now, a lot of people complain that, oh, my husband is not taking good care of me. Oh, my boyfriend is not taking good care of me. Oh, my fiancé all of a sudden he decided he's no longer interested. Even as a man, you can have such negative energy that immediately you have carnal knowledge of any woman the woman will run away from you you'll be asking yourself am i not handsome enough am i not rich enough it is not enough sometimes there are other things other qualities that the woman will see in you spiritually and the woman will be like and there are some things that will be obstructing you from getting what you want sometimes you see a man because you have tried all possible means you are not able to get the woman of your dream because of one thing or the other spiritual problems you decided to settle for the less and that will lead you to hatred and domestic violence because by the time you don't stay with someone you love you will be you will, be, you will just be you will, any little thing will just make you angry it is avoidable why don't you work on yourself before allowing another person to join you this this salt water that i'm going to teach you today is not the usual way that you know so if you think oh i know about salt water what am i listening to this video for you're making a very big mistake listen to me 
that it's just a little data you're going to burn and your time a little time to learn something that will help you in life i'm not collecting money from you the only thing you are spending here is just a little data to gain knowledge now if you're a man and you feel that abalogo chomo they give you negative energy spiritually where whenever you come across a woman the woman automatically hates you you and you know you don't smell you are neat you do a, you do normal thing normal human being that you are even if you're not super rich at least you're on, on the average you're not hungry and a woman doesn't like you please from today onwards start doing this ritual this is a ritual it is not something that you say oh ah Stop, stop, start doing this ritual. When you get a water, when you get water in a white bowl, warm water in a white bowl, just look warm water in a white bowl. You add salt into it, a little salt. Bend down. Use it and start washing your private part as a man. This thing I'm telling you has been obstructed a lot of people from getting their blessings because the people you have slept with you don't know their spiritual background as a woman you know that a man will love you is ready to spend on you but once the man have carnal knowledge of you the man will cease to love you the man will now be talking another thing go and get me a warm water inside a white bowl add salt inside it small salt inside it use it to wash your private part the salt will not be too much use it to wash. you people are underrating the power of salt here i am not underrating it because i know that let me tell you in the olden days our forefathers were so wise if they notice any kind of ugly spirit around you see them putting salt around the environment we call it eating a nuni robodo in front of the, the village, very close to their house, they put salts around. It neutralizes negativities. A lot of women here, the Otrawal Hanamua is on their private part. On their private part. The negative energy they give them is on their private part. Once a man have anything to do with them, the man will hate them. The man will not have anything to do with them again. You will be, you will be feeling rejected. This is a man that has been showering you with gifts. Go and start this ritual. Make it a, at least twice every week. Do this, especially if you know you are not this kind of person that keeps only one woman or you keep only one man. Even you that is married, you don't know what your partner does. At the end of the day, when things go south for them, they will blame you that since they married you, things have become very tough for them. They are no longer doing well. Not knowing is the different women that they have been carrying. If you're a woman here and you know that your husband, you don't trust your husband, please make him use salt water to always wash his private part before he has anything to do with you. Both you that is going to bring for play and all that, you decide to suck your partner. You don't know what you are bringing upon yourself because your partner has been sleeping with another woman. And thereby digging into another woman is bringing up the person's spirituality into your own and joining it to, you, to yours. Which could be negative spirituality or positive spirituality. Some women work with their own, a lot of negativities here and there. You can avoid it. Now, I know it feels um, embarrassing for you to tell. Maybe your partner might feel embarrassed. Teach them, let them know the importance of these things. Very, very important. Is to sanitize yourself, to neutralize negative energies. All these negativities here and there will make you not to be progressing. Learn to dissolve salt inside water. If you are carrying your natural hair like myself, like me, for the past how many days that I lose my hair, I've been pouring a salt water on my head. The salt will not be too much. It could be sea salt, it could be native salt, it could be your normal kitchen salt. 
pray over it after praying over it you, you pull it from your head it goes down to your body you will feel renewed you will feel that some as if something left your body it's a it's another way of neutralizing negative negativities you will be progressing you will be succeeding in whatever that you are doing People will be connecting with you from east, west, north, and south. It's not by your own making, but because you know, you understand that just as our body can get dirty, our spiritual life can also get dirty. And you need to neutralize it, you need to wash it off. As you pour it on your head, it penetrates. Do not dry your hair. Don't dry your hair. Don't dry your body. Whenever you use your salt water to have your bath or to pour it from your head downwards. My brother, my sister, a lot of people have testified based on this. I am not just giving you gist. I am telling you the reality of life. It is something that you are going to enjoy. Okay? Learn to be using salt water to wash your private part. It is very important. Now, for people that uh, what I'm talking about is just small water with a, with a, like seven pinches of salt. Seven. Pinch of salt one. Pinch of salt two. Pinch of salt three. Seven. I did not say measure one spoon of salt. It's going to be too much. I said use pinch of salt with warm water. Let it dissolve very well. Let it become soluble in water before you can be able to use this as i have said is a very simple ritual let your intentions known as you are making this making this a routine make your intentions known mention the things you want to attract and you will see yourself doing absolutely fine okay guys thank you very much for watching i love you i just decided to come and share this beautiful tip with you guys to better your life okay if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up leave your comment down in the comment section all right god bless you all all right okay see you guys in my next one bye